in the middle. Wonderful by Edwards just moments ago. The smother and the follow-up work is Spud Sid. Taken by Boyd. Had it a while. Spills out of his hands eventually. Benson goes Step after up. it. Comes across to Liberatore. He lost it. Finds it again. Kicks the half forward. It came low and hard. Oh. Jones couldn't control it. Cramery taken down in a strong tackle by Chaplin. And we'll have a ball up about 40 metres out from the attacking goal of the Western Bulldogs. Jack Rewald since half time. Ten disposals, eight marks, oh. three majors. Knocked down by Minson. Minson on his own. Taken by Cranry. Tackled by Chaplin. Ball falls free. Gathering oh. it now. Bulldog who's yeah, driven into back. the ground. Oh, it's no. going to be a free kick. No. 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 Pulse alarm. It's going to be a ball up. Rewald's four marks have come between the 30 metre and the 50 okay. metre. Um, yeah. So they're all inside 50. Inside board 50 here for the Dogs. Hacked out of the air somehow. It's Dalhouse who has it. That's dropping the ball. He went to ground. Oh, yeah, Minson and Stephenson picked it up. Just bashed it long. Easton Wood had to stay on his feet. Didn't Griffiths did. Went back and picked it up. Then got taken in a tackle. Released a handball to it? Ellis. And then Conker on the it. wing. Conker has a bounce. They're there down on feet, these boys. So Conker yeah. runs through. Inside 50. Oh, it's Jack Rivers. 45 out. <laughs> Puts Gray in. Oh, who would have thought he could play full four at this point? <laughs> but what about Griffiths again at ground level? I know that wasn't no, his clean, but he actually got yeah. the ball after his runners in conquer. Jack kicks this. Richmond hit the front. I think for about the first time since the two-minute mark of the game. Spot on, two. JP. So they have trailed by as much as 38 points, the Tigers. Well, you have a listen to this rule if it goes through. Jack Revolt. He'll kick it from about the paint of the 50. Drop punt, he loves it. Oh, oh there it is. Get around him, Jim. They Come on, have Jim. hit the front, the Tigers. Can you believe it? Revo has kicked a set shot goal of the highest order. He's now got four, and they're in front by four points. Well, you're going to change the fortunes of, of footy. In a half, Jack revo has gone from, I reckon, fighting for his spot in the yeah. side to potentially being a match winner. The inside 50 target in the first half. Now this, look, coaches can be stubborn and they can be, you know, in the first half they went to uh, Jack Revolt once. Second half they've been to him nine times. He's taken five marks inside 50 and he's kicked five goals. Best to case your honour. And he did one to victory. So he did one to victory to start this third quarter. Bulldogs oh, led by 37 points oh, at half time. Cuts in a quick kick out of the middle. More pressure on this defence for the Dogs. Martin comes up, hand passes in the direction of Jackson, who soccers it twice forward. Gathering it down there was Murphy. Upended, comes back towards Jackson. Charging it as Wallace. He went to ground. Opportunity for Morris. He was put down. Morris goes back into the fray. So does Revolt. Revolt's got the football. He's got by a couple of dogs. It's a slow-moving pack now. Cooney applies a tackle, and the umpire blows the whistle. It'll be balled up about 40 metres out from the Tigers' attacking goal, and they lead by four points. Two minutes, 52 left. Dogs have to respond. Third man up's Vickery. Ball going forward. Easton Wood goes back to track the ball. Vickery with him. Easton Wood's got it. Gave it to Higgins. Higgins a left foot around the body job. In front of Cochin, who runs into a pile of strife, but wins a ripping ball. Basha Hooley's run down. Newey stands up in a tackle, gets a handball forward. Conker's taken in a very good tackle. Now Edwards runs into trouble. They turn it over to Cramery, to Bob Murphy. Now they away. Boyd, handball over the top. G is on long. Just got to get it to him somehow. Kick goes in that direction. Wrong foot. He might still be okay here, G. Take it out. Syracuse. Well played. Two minutes to go. Well, unbelievable. As Cranberry picked the ball up, he thought, why did not practice me right football when I was a young junior? But he got it there, and then Brown and Ellis. Gia plays on. The snap no. is good. Oh. What are we seeing? It's home. Ouch. <laughs> got a couple, Gia. Western Bulldogs back in front by two points. Well, watch him go down now and go get behind the footy spot. There's a minute 59 on the clock. Oh. And they have responded, the Western Bulldogs, both times. Well, it's the only time they got headed, but... Wow, we Brandon Ellis just panicked. He doesn't like... He's unaccustomed to playing on the last line. Big clearance oh. coming up. The Dogs will get numbers behind the footy. I reckon um, Damien Harbutt will send forwards with them. They might as well yeah. have eight on eight. No doubt. What a finish. 
Bulldogs, 15-10, 100. Richmond, 58, 98. Dahl House is going on the ball for the Bullies in jail. Under two minutes remaining. There's the bounce back in the middle. Minson and Griffiths. One down by Minson. Taken away by Griffin. Oh, Griffin the high here. ball towards half forward. Morris reaches over the top. Bumps away from McRae. In goes Jones and the Dogs. Reaching in there is Thomas. One prior whistles it up. We'll have a throw up on the outer side. Left half forward for the Dogs. It's really reached the crescendo now. Minson knocks it down. Griffiths tries to knock it through for the Tigers. Plenty of Dogs in there to tie it up. Another whistle, another ball up. Time remaining, 1.34. And this place is simmering. Wow, what a big stoppage here. Minson and Vickery. Griffin. Out of play on it, so did Jackson. It comes out somehow. Bouncing ball, Liam Jones taken out of it. Vickery went and got it. Got a handball to Gordon. Threw it back to Grimes. Grimes to Chaplin. Chaplin's been real nervous with the pill today. Goes wide to Vickery. What's the bounce going to do? Oh, Vickery slaps it oh. on. It's a flash, Gordon. Go. Running on the wing has a bounce. Got to find the target. The kick just got to Jackson. Jackson, the handball off to Hooley. Oh, Hooley Griffin. goes inside 50. The kick's horrible. Morris has got to control this. Jack. Able to do so. Rebound to Edwards. Edwards Christ. to Gordon. Gordon's kick top of the square. No one able to mark it. They've got to get oh. this ball out of play somehow. And they do Great with call. 49 seconds left. Great well call, done. Jim. Well done. He, he had to hit Griffiths. Griffiths was yeah. on his own, and he yeah. went in between Griffiths and Jack Revolt to the Western Bulldog player. It always looked a goal to the Tigers, but they didn't get one boundary throw in. Minson and Griffiths. Griffiths directs it down. Revolt's in the pack. Griffiths comes again. Minson on his tummy there. Slaps it out. Cooney. Head passes to McRae. Can they break loose here? Around the other side goes Pickin. Opportunity oh. behind the pack for Jones. Again. 30 Three seconds left from John Siracusa. It looks like they've got them covered. Opportunity for Boyd. Feeds it back. Hand pass from John Siracusa. Numbers around there the it football. Is. Oh, head. Head. Cool head Smart. by Cooney. 20 seconds on the clock. They're home, the dogs. They're home. Pickens got the football. Take it all. Every second of it. It's going to be a hard fourth victory, Jim. You call it hard. 11 seconds left. They've just got to get it out of play. Yeah, Reset the ground they have. Seven seconds left. What a ripping game of footy well, Saturday afternoon. Well earned, Jim. Sometimes you've got to get the scare along the way to really get the value. Gian Syracuse, the cool head, kicked the goal when he needed it, slapped out of there. It's on the wing. Here it comes. Hey! The doggies hit the scoreboard for the first time in season 2014 with a fantastic win against the Richmond Footy Club. season. G and Syracuse are a late goal after the uh, Tigers came storming home in the last half. See, lots of stories in this. There's lots of stories in the game. You asked the question before the game, how long can Daniel G and Syracuse keep playing as a sub? Well, that's the whole, that's what happened then is the reason why he's playing it. Comes on, kicks two in the last quarter, including the match winner. 